Okay, uh, director insists that I have to look really like that time. And he brought me to the hair salon and I sat there for a day to get to the effect that I get. And, and the moment I was transformed, I was like, gosh, my mom is here. <laughs> gosh, that's, that's how I remember my mom. That's how she looked like during the 90s. And that's how his mom looked like during the 90s. He showed me the photos like, oh my God, everybody's mom had that hair before. <laughs> and, and that really is something that we all can remember. We all came mm. from that time, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Teresa, I'm his mother, not you. Yes, I was pregnant. <laughs> I was very pregnant. <laughs> she was very pregnant. She was six months pregnant. <laughs> it's, it's our favourite moment to share uh, every, every festival we go to. Um, you know, I casted uh, Yan Yan quite early in the game. You know, I was very impressed because she flew down from KL and she blew me away with, with an audition and I was like, wow, you know, it's, the mother is her. And then, you know, because we postponed our shoot because of some reasons, we had problems casting the kids still. <laughs> And so, you know, because I'm based slightly in between London and Singapore and I, was, I went back to London, you know, be, w to be with my wife. And one day at 3 a.m. in the morning, Miss Yo Yan Yan called. And I was still in a daze. I was still very, very sleepy. And she said, oh, hi, this is Yan Yan. Who is this? Your actress, la, Yan Yan. And I said, oh, okay. I have some good news and bad news to tell you. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said, oh, I'm pregnant. And I, I didn't really register it because it's 3 a.m. in the morning and I went back to sleep. And then the next morning, I thought I had a dream. <laughs> so I called her back. I said, uh, did you call me last night? Did you tell me something? Yeah, 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 I'm pregnant, but you didn't seem to mind. Uh, <laughs> and that was when the sky collapsed on me. And um, yeah, I, Im immediately I, I told her like, you know what, I'm going to recast. So I spent two, three weeks trying to find another actress because originally in the script, she's not pregnant. I came back to Singapore, I really just scrambled to find an actress and I couldn't find one. And then we sat down in Bugis for five hours at a cafe and we just talk and talk and talk and talk. Eventually she convinced me to keep her. So I was like, okay. So I went back to the drawing board, rewrote the script. Most of the scenes are intact, but I, I changed the character of the mother because, you know, Emotionally, it's different when you're pregnant, you see, and you're more jealous, which is a good thing for the film. Um, and yeah, so that was it. You know, I was so afraid that something would happen on the set because she was six months pregnant and if something happens, you know, I'll be guilty for life. Uh, eventually, she dropped a huge bomb on me. I dropped a huge bomb on her. I told her, Yo, Yan Yan, you know, you did this to me, I'm going to do something to you. I'm going to shoot your delivery. <laughs> so what you see... At the end, uh, it's actually her actual birth. Um, and I'm the first one. Uh, I'm actually the first one, not even her husband, because the hospital was quite difficult about it. Because, oh, just in case, you know, relatives or family members, they get, you know, berserk or emotional or they start puking or something like that. So they're not allowed. So I was the only one with a DV cam because I wanted to capture in, 90, in the 90s, we always shoot using all these handy cams. So I brought this old school 90s handy cam. I went in and we are super good friends now because I've seen her like inside out. <laughs> right? Everything. <laughs>